Bowman here from PhoneDog.com. We're going to do a hands-on with the LG Optimus G Pro. The Optimus G Pro is pretty much LG's competitor to the Galaxy Note 2. Really nice phone so far from what I'm seeing from them. First thing you notice with it is a 5.5 inch full 1080p HD IPS display. Has a 400 DPI on it. Sharp, vibrant, very nice. You can already see it's very fast and very speedy. That's with the 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor on it. It's a Snapdragon processor inside of it. Also comes on the back here. Nice advanced 13 megapixel camera with LED flash. See it's sort of a nice chrome trimming around it. Power button here on the side. You can see the uh, micro USB port here at the bottom. See also your volume rock here on the side too. And your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here at the top. And you also have the um, a front face of the camera here as well. 2.1 megapixel front face of the camera. It's an HD front face of the camera as well too. Now um, let's take a look here as far as far as specs are concerned with the software. It is running Optimus UI on it. It should be based on Android 4.1.2. So not the latest version, but it's pretty close. You can take a look here at some of the settings that they have in here. Quick Note, NFC. You can um, take a look at some of the other customizations that's in here. App drawer, downloadables, swipe back up here. See some of the widgets. Take a look at some of the AT&T specific applications because this is coming out for AT&T. You can see mobile TV, my AT&T, uh, uh, their, their uh, drive mode, their uh, family maps, all those sorts of things like that. So you're going to have that preloader inside of it. Go back here. The thing I wanted to show, actually let's go here to the settings. Let I find it here. Do some of the settings that are with it. Much more of a GUI with an actual on and off switch, which is kind of interesting. They have them on there with it. That makes it a little bit, a little bit cooler to look at. See, they have sort of the settings sort of kind of um, kind of chunked out in the different tabs. You can go to the sound tab here, and that's for sound specifically. Display, you have display settings right there. See the general settings right here with battery apps. That's come with a 3140 milliamp hour battery inside of it, and it's a removable battery as well too. See here, we'll go back. Go ahead and check out the storage. It does come with uh, 23 gigabytes of available storage. So I probably most likely have 32 gigabytes of actual onboard storage, but about 23 of that is available for you for your apps, games, and things of that nature. It's pretty cool with it. Um, take a look back here one more. Scroll up here, we'll take a look at about phone. We'll take a look at the uh, software information. You can verify right there under 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. A nice little jelly beans you can flip around and stuff right there. So that's pretty cool. That's a quick hands-on here with the LG Optimus uh, G Pro. So far, pretty cool, pretty nice. It has LG's UI on it. It's interesting, so gonna see how it works on a daily basis. It's much more of a phone style than I would say on that phone, so that tablet, that tablet thing with the Galaxy Note so far, but I get impression with it. There isn't a stylus or anything available with it. I think it's going more close to where the Dre DNA was aiming towards with their, with their big screen phone, but it's still a pretty cool phone overall. Can't wait to get, my, uh, get our review on it here. This is bonefondoc.com.